All belts sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. First bout brought to you in association with Cedric Kushner for an promotion. The three judges at ringside scoring these bouts will be Robert Bush, Hugh Eccles, and Barry Yates. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Lawrence Cole. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to party with the big boys. Ten rounds of boxing. This is in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver, official weight, 223 pounds. Professional record, 29 victories, including 20 knockouts with two defeats and two bouts even. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, here is Clifford, the Black Rhino, A. across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing Carolina blue, official weight, 226 pounds. This 2000 USA Olympian now has a perfect professional record, consisting of 23 bouts, 23 victories, including 19 knockouts from Charlotte, North Carolina. Here's the undefeated Calvin, the boxing banker, Bra. Gentlemen, I gave your instruction earlier in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands, text off all times. Understood? Touch them up and good luck. Lawrence Cole, the third man inside tonight. A look at the ring experience. The numbers alone show the advantage for Etienne. And you know the difference in quality of opposition. The real question is which version of Clifford Etienne will Calvin Brock be getting? Etienne's been telling everyone we'll see the same edition of the Black Rhino. The one that ambushed and conquered current title holder, Raymond Brewster. Buddy. So I know there's a bit of an oxymoron, but the beginning, early stages of this fight so important. Go back. Etienne has been hurt early in fights. He's been knocked out, of course, three times. His chin is suspect. People think that. They think that's one of his flaws, one of his kinks in his armor. He's been hurt early in fights, as I said. And in fact, in his last fight, he came off the floor to win. There's a short right hand on the inside from Brock. Of course, when you talk about a first-round knockout, it works, works both ways for Clifford Etienne. He has 11 first-round knockouts for his credit. Most observers look back at the 49 Let's seconds go. against Mike Tyson and say that sums up Clifford Etienne. He has a weak chin. The beginning of this fight, the early round, is so important for both fighters, Joe, for two reasons. To get through the beginning, not get caught in too big, get into the fight, start to establish a rhythm, his rhythm, show that now Brock is with the big boy, so you don't belong here. And for Brock, he wants to show he belongs. He's stepping up in pairs, he said it well, Joe. At the end, fought the much better opposition. Brock wants to show that he belongs, and he's got to feel that he belongs. And the early part of the fight will go a long way in establishing that, because he feel like he belongs with these kind of fights. Moments ago, Etienne did a fine job with the left hand. Now, deep into the body and connects on the inside with a left up top against Brock. I'll say it again. If Etienne can survive early and establish a rhythm, establish a course for this fight, his course for the fight, Brock, the undefeated Brock, will severely be tested tonight. There's not one thing Brock does great, but the good news is there's nothing that really stands out that he does real a real bad one. That can be pretty good. He's got decent speed, nothing great. Decent power, nothing great. And he's got some tremendous amateur background. Of course, that amateur, amateur background, Teddy, includes him. Trip to the 2000 Olympics. You know, at that time when he was in the Olympics, Teddy, and at the time that he turned pro, many were very critical of Brock's work ethic. Now, I know you were the analyst at those Olympics. He was heavier and as a matter of fact, the coaches were talking about his work ethic a little bit. They were complaining about it a little bit. And he was heavy even in his early pro career. I give him credit. He dropped his weight. His last fight was the lowest of his career. He had dropped down to 222. Tonight, 226. Now he's getting to the serious part of his career. He's doing the things you would expect him to do. 
showing the kind of work that you need to move forward. Alvin Brock, Clifford Etienne through round number one. A neat moniker for the fight game. Calvin Brock, graduate of the University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Got his degree in business administration and then took a job in banking before his pro boxing career took off. Round number two against the Black Rhino, Clifford Etienne. Take a look at the coffee box numbers from round number one. Etienne started to get in the flow a little bit. He was 69 58 when the final tallies were computed. No long introduction in this fight to each other, both getting in close quarters and going to work. Who does it favor more? Time will tell, but maybe. Shorter guys, shorter arms, wants to be in close where he doesn't have to work his way in, has to, doesn't have to find blocks. Slot being in close decides not to use that height, not to use that great strength. But when you're in close, fighting huge athletic rooms are high. When you have a guy moving up, like blocks, in another class, well, some of the questions that he might get asked in close, Maybe he doesn't have the answers. We're going to find out. But a lot higher, a lot harder to hide from things when you're in close. A lot easier to hide and cover things on the outside. Maybe Clark doesn't want to hide. He believes in himself. Hasn't learned how to lose that. That drill on the end of his record can be so powerful, so important for the mental edge. If he wants to show up here, we can try to do right now. I belong, and I am going to conquer. A lunging right hand followed up by a left hand and Clifford Etienne and that suspect chin. He goes down in round right. number two. Well, we touched on it about one of the most important elements the early round. And here we are in the second round and Brock has tasted the chances already. The early round. Can Brock chin? Come in! Up. Hold up for him. Well, Etienne's chin, that is. Hold up for him. Brock now wants to show what kind of finisher he is. Now he would be well served, Brock would be, to press behind that chin and go to the body. Go downstairs because when a guy's hurt, instinctively he's going to try to survive. And that's what you don't want to see. Brock gets his chin, a little fat, get a little old angles, and what happens here? It doesn't matter what he throws. What matters is he allows Edgy to get a little time to recover. That could be time that Brock later on will regret. We will see. Good fight for the fans to watch. Alvin Brock, the undefeated former Olympian, in the biggest step up so far of his career, trying to make a statement early on in 2005 that this will be his year. Again, Brock, in the biggest fight so far of his career, a big head up here hurt, did not go as I said, he shook to the body, went to the head, and now you see Edgier making a little bit of a run here. Right hand, breaking the rules, breaking the fundamentals. Left hand down as Etienne stepped back. Nothing fancy. Right hand right over that drop left hand. Hurt him. Put him into a place he doesn't want to be. And then Brock followed up. Left hook on top of the head. Etienne has been hurt on top of the head before. Not only the chin, but on top of the head, Etienne has been badly hurt in fights before. Fantastic work from our... Friday night fight super slow-mo there of the knockdown in round number two. Teddy, that second round was very curious as to how that would be scored because Etienne came on strong at the end. He looked good at the beginning. Came on strong in the end. 13 of the 16 minutes were power shot. I mean, ostensibly 10-8, but you could argue 10-9. Yes, in you second. could because of the way Etienne came back, as you just said, Joe, the last quarter of that round. Now here on round number three, Etienne trying to keep up that pace that he has into the second round. A left and a right, and Etienne was wobbled. But right now, what Etienne's doing wrong, he's making his height available. He's leaning forward from the weight, not bending his legs, not bringing his feet up to the right starting position to be right underneath his body. He's leaning forward with his head, you can see it again. And as he leans forward to his head, with his head, He's making himself available to block. Lock and catch him, which he just did again. Etienne leaning in a little bit, leaving himself wide open to block, and a lot of time left in this round. Hey, okay, man. Now we will 
Beckham. Right. If Brock learns something oh. from the last round and goes to the body instead of getting over answers to the kill up there. A lot of time left and he's down a second time and Lawrence Cole's waving it off. Oh boy, that's a big, big win for Calvin Brock. A lot of people are going to say this controversy. Lawrence Cole has been known to stop and fight early, quickly. There could be arguments on both sides whether or not that fight was stopped too quickly. Etienne did get up right after the knockdown. Did look like his eyes were clear, but no arguing. He had been down twice. And no arguing is the fundamental mistake he was making. Leaning forward from his waist, we talked about it just before the knockdown in the second round, putting his head in a place where Block could find it. Where he couldn't work offensively, but the head was there where Block could find him early. So kind of like when you were a kid and your uncle put your hand, his hand on your head and you reached and you tried to hit your uncle and you couldn't reach. Let's take a look, Teddy, with our super slow-mo of the combinations in that third round that started off the festivities for Calvin Brock. Short left hook on the inside by Block. Left hook there, but the right hand did most of the damage. And again, look at the position that Edgy is in. Leaning forward, leaving himself susceptible. Let's take another look at the first knockdown in the third round. Block trying to set it up, using the jab, old fashioned one, two, right hand right behind it. Left hand again, down, just like it was the round before. Edgyan leaving a window wide open for that right hand. And again, on top of the head, not the punch on the chin, but the punch on top of the head. Etienne leaning forward, leaving that available, and that's the same area that he was hurt and knocked out with Fresno Kendall some time ago. For the official particulars, let's send it up to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute and 25 seconds of round number 3. The winner by knockout victory, still undefeated, Calvin, the boxing banker. Jeremy Jeremy. Thanks, Joe. A very convincing victory, obviously, Calvin. When did you know that you could beat Cliff with that team? From the time he made the fight. I don't care what nobody say, what anybody write, what anybody think, what anybody do. You can never stop me from becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. That's between me and God. God's going to bless me anyway. I thank God for the victory in Jesus' name. And I knew I had him. Ain't nobody stronger, man. You know what? I'm like he-man right here. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you stepped up tonight. Your opponent tonight, Clifford Etienne, significantly more experienced than any of your previous opponents. What does this victory mean to you? It means I take anybody, anywhere, anytime. I'm ready to be the heavyweight champion of the world. I'm the real truth. Tell me about the knockdowns, all three of them. Hey, when I hit him, he went down one blow sometimes. And I knew I could put people down one, with one blow. I got 20 knockouts now. Got a 24 win. And I was also setting him up. The power wasn't there. He wasn't strong as me on the inside. He was strong. He was real strong. He had a good chin because he took a great shot. He had a good record. He beat some main fighters. He beat Raymond Bruce, the current WO, WO champion of the world. So I'm showing people now. People looking for the real champ. Here I am. My name is Calvin Brock. Calvin, congratulations. Thanks very much. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeremy. A very excited Calvin Brock. The third round knockout win over Cliff Etienne. Turns 30 come midnight. Heck of a birthday present he just gave himself. More to come from Houston first. Brian Tenney and Diego Corrales.